All right, you guys, I'm so excited because tonight for dinner, we're having these um, oven cravers, um, cordon bleu um, chickens. I, I can't say the name because I think... I, kn I think I know how it's pronounced, which is totally cool, but, uh, I've been banned for less, so, uh, we're not, you know, we're not pushing limits here, okay? But, um, I think these will be really good. They're the ham and Swiss ones, which, are those the original Cordon Blues? I don't know. Uh, then I'm making roasted green beans, right, with an aioli sauce, which I've never made before, um, so I'm really excited about that. And then also, um, hold on, I got this gigantic fresh french bread that we can have on the side as well so i'm super excited let's get started oh my god they're tiny little things i went to a wedding once and they were way bigger than this no that's accurate i know they enlarge it but <laughs> i just i didn't expect them to be like twinkie size you know? <laughs> on this side i'm putting some uh tyson tenders that's my son's newest thing. He loves the Tyson ones. Um, he'll also eat, I think my mother-in-law bought, like, Hannaford or Stop and Shop chicken nuggets that he ate, which was awesome. Um, so this is what he eats at home usually. Or his, uh, Capellini number 17 pastine spaghetti with Victoria's Fra Diavolo sauce. So, oh my god, look at this one. That's huge. It's, it's bigger than th one of these things. I don't think he'll like this one. It's too ball-like. All right, you guys. Now I got the green beans. I hope this works with frozen ones. I saw a recipe about roasting them. It was kind of self-explanatory. I almost said implanatory. Um, some olive oil. My son's recording as I'm recording. That's so funny. Burp, burp. All right. And then we're going to do some salt. I'm so excited to make the aioli sauce because I've just, I've never done that to my knowledge, to my recollection. Sometimes I'll make stuff and forget. I'm just going to go in with my hands and... So everything's going in at 400. All right, you guys, while I'm waiting for everything to cook, I'm going to start the aioli sauce. And I'm so excited about this. Like I said, I wrote down what is included in an aioli sauce because I had no fucking idea what it was. It just looked really good. Um, so mayo, garlic, uh, minced garlic, uh, lemon, salt, and pepper. I even wrote myself a note on how to pronounce it. A-Y-O-W-L-E-E, -E, just in case. Okay. All right, they said about three-fourths cups three-fourths cup of mayonnaise. All right. I'm gonna make a little more than that. All right. Now, some garlic. I always use a knife for my minced garlic, or almost always. I don't know why I just do. All right. Next, we'll do the lemon. That was a lot of lemon, my bad. Now the salt. Alright, and then some pepper. Now I'm gonna mix it all up. I put way too much lemon juice, shit. So this is what it looks like, pretty good. Do you like my Spongebob from the other day? My kid said he wanted tenders for dinner. Get that boy some chicken. <laughs> I'm going to cook them for just a tiny bit more, you guys. All right, you guys, there is dinner. There's the green beans, the aioli sauce, the, uh, you know, cordon blues and the French bread. Normally, I would put butter, but I figure there's going to be a mess of uh, awesome sauces on the plate after, so might as well just dip it in that.